So I want to talk to you today about two different kinds of dreams and three things to do. All right? Has anybody ever heard of lucid dreaming? Yeah. Lucid dreaming is where you wake up in your sleep. So you're asleep, you're dreaming, but you're actually awake. You're actually able to control your dreams. Anybody ever done this? All right? I'm going to give you one tip on how you can do this today. All right? So everybody, hold your hands up in front of you. All right? Everybody's got to do it. All the cool kids are doing it. So you've got to do it. Look at your hands and say. Am I asleep? Am I asleep? Am I dreaming? Am I if you think about that, if you do that several times a day, what ultimately will happen is for whatever reason in your dream, you'll see your hands. And you'll look at your hands and you'll go, am I asleep? Am I dreaming? And then you can start doing reality checks. Like if you try and play with a mirror in your dream, mirrors do funny things in your dreams. They'll like come out at you. You can put your hands through walls. Light switches don't work. Things like that. And then you'll go, holy cow, I'm dreaming, right? One of the cool things I've learned is that sleeping dreams aren't all that much different than waking dreams, right? If you can realize while you're awake that you can control your dreams, then you can go anywhere and do anything that you want in your life. All you have to do is realize that your destiny is in your hands, right? So everybody, hold up your hands again. Look at your hands and say, am I awake? Am I, Am I dreaming? All right, it's really important. Remind yourself all the time to be dreaming. Am I awake? Am I dreaming about what I want? Or am I letting this, this script running through my head? Oh, you know, that's not a good dream. That's an odd dream. My wife and I have a friend that told us one of her dreams one time, which was she wanted to swim in a swimming pool full of spaghetti noodles because she wanted to see what it felt like. Now everybody laughs a little bit. But you think about it, have you ever had a weird dream like that? That you're like, oh, other people would think that's just silly. Or other people would respond funny to that. My wife and I are realizing one of our dreams. Uh, we are starting in October, we're going to be traveling the world. Um, we actually are going to get to go, we're going to Costa Rica, we're going to be doing a bunch of travel. But one of the cool things we did six and a half years ago was said, how could we build a business that would allow us to work from anywhere and one of the cool things about having built a team with Prepaid Legal is that we can still work via Skype, via the internet. We can continue building our business from wherever we are in the world. We figured that out though. It's taken us off. You may have a completely wild dream that you're like, hey, that's just crazy. I don't know if that could ever happen. I was talking with one of the huge brothers, and I don't remember a convention about owning an airplane, right? And they're working on owning an airplane. How cool is that, right? But other people might look at it and go, ah, that's kind of a What's your crazy dream? It's okay, even if it's getting noodles in a pool. Right? What's one common dream that we all share? Unfortunately, one common dream that we all share. It's promoted to us all the time. It's winning the lottery. Right? Here's a couple of interesting facts about the lottery. Computers are used to monitor over 2,700 retailers, including 100,000 validations daily which makes the Colorado Lottery the largest computer network in the state. That takes money, and the Colorado Lottery has it because there are about 4.5 million people in Colorado, and on average, 8.5 million lottery tickets are purchased every week in the state. That's almost two lottery tickets for each person in the state sold every week. Now, people may say things like, money's not that important, uh, but they'll also follow that up like with statements about the lottery. Like, well, wouldn't it be nice to win? Right? And people talk about the lottery as if they can win, but in order to win the lottery, you have to have stronger dreams and stronger visions than the other 8.5 million other lottery tickets that will be sold this week. Right? Can you do it? Maybe. But that's the only guaranteed way for you to win the lottery. Instead, if you took that money once a week, and we have to help, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? We all understand this information. Our job is to take this out and share it with people. Say, take your $52, buy 10 books on half.com. You can buy them for five bucks a piece. Buy 10 books and share five of them with a friend. Take somebody on your journey with you. Getting to your dreams is much more fun when you get to do it with people that are fun and working towards their dreams too. Think about what Frank Coin said, which is the more you learn, the more you earn. So we've got to be dreaming, but then we've got to have a plan to put that in place. And step one is belief. Right? So these are the three things. So two kinds of dreams, waking dreams and sleeping dreams, and three things, belief. And I struggle with this sometimes. I struggled with it off and on for six and a half years. 
And then I even struggled with it in the ED run. Like, on Sunday, after I made that decision, I was like, I don't know how this is going to happen. My wife will tell you I was completely inconsolable that day. She's like, I don't even know what to do with you. I mean, you just go for a walk or something. Right, so I went for a walk and I was back five minutes later because I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be doing to get to ED. And then Michael Red called me and said, hey, I've got a group this week. We're going to help land this thing. We're going to get you to ED this week. And I was like, well, dang, my ED is working for me. I guess I better get to work. Everybody struggles with belief. Patrick Shaw struggles with belief. Frank and Teresa at point struggle with belief. Barack Obama struggles with belief. Pick anybody in your life. They struggle with belief. Getting stronger belief comes from believing in your dreams. Believing in your dreams comes from the philosophies you have from the books you read, the people you hang out with, all the stuff we talk about all the time. And then to always be expanding your belief in bigger and bigger dreams and believe that you'll win those bigger and stronger dreams. That's it. You just have to have bigger and stronger dreams. Not bigger and stronger than everybody else, because that's what you have to do if you want in the lottery. You just have to have bigger and stronger dreams. Patrick Shaw used to talk a lot about a study. I don't know if you remember this. They did it in Ivy League school. I had to put used to in here because when I wrote this in 2003, he was actually talking about it a lot. Uh, did it in Ivy League school about how they studied a group of, over, of people over 30 years, the top 5% of a class from an Ivy League school, who had written down their goals in college versus 95% of people who hadn't. And after 30 years, the 5% had outperformed the other 95% in terms of income and lifestyle. Number one is belief. Number two is write it down. Write it down. Write the vision, make it plain on paper, for he shall run who reads it. Write it down and put it somewhere you can see it daily. If you need to borrow one, my wife and I actually put up our goals on our website at carryandjonathan.com. If you want to borrow it or copy and paste it, you're welcome to do that. But put it somewhere you'll read it. Ours are laminated on our shower uh, wall. We actually put sticky tack on the back of them and put them up on the wall. Right? So we've been reading these dreams for the last six years, and we're starting to realize those dreams now. One of the dreams I had, we used to have a Monday morning leadership meeting. Sometimes we still, I mean, we still have that, again, starting back up now. At that Monday morning leadership meeting, Carrie reminded me last week. I said to her one time, look around. You, me, and Jesse C. DeBaca are the three people who will be EDs before we're 30. Tomorrow's my 30th birthday. Oh. All right? Woo! Before I came up here, she said, well, why'd you say before 30? Why didn't you say before 25? <laughs> I knew when I wrote down this speech, and I have a blank line for my talk. I knew when I wrote this speech six years ago that I'd be in a space like this presenting to a group of wonderful people. How did I know? Because as I was writing this down, I was dreaming and imaging in detail the places where I would present this speech and how it would feel to offer this information to wonderful people like you. I imagined it, and because I imaged it, I wrote down this speech at 4.15 a.m. on October 1st, 2003. Don't trust your memory. Write things down. I learned that from Jim Rohn. Write things down. I could have stayed in bed and kept sleeping at 4 a.m. on October 1st, 2003, but I didn't. Write things down, including and perhaps especially the little fleeting thoughts that you dismissed because of some criticism script running through your mind. Shut it down. Get in your head. Smack it around. Say stop. Criticize it. Right, and work on your dreams. Everything is energy. Dreams are energy. So be careful of what you dream. Dreams are important. They become thoughts. Thoughts are energy things looking for their physical equivalent. What you dream might just come true. Eleanor Roosevelt said, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The third thing to do is simply to take action. Belief, write it down, take action. Take massive action. I can tell you the 22nd to the 30th was like the most... Crazy, unbelievable, and it hasn't stopped since. It's been awesome. The team's like, hey, we got a membership. We got somebody to talk to. But, I mean, it's been just crazy activity. Adam and Laura recruited seven people out of Vegas in like two days, right? I mean, it's just amazing what's happened as a result of taking action. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So every day, I want you guys to remember to take a look at your hands, and instead of, instead of saying, am I asleep? Am I dreaming? 